Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. We are in model making mode today. I'm going to be assembling my little avatar figure of Natiri from the movie Avatar. The model of Natiri is 3D printed and you can get the file on Thingiverse. This one is printed in three parts, so I'll need to do some assembly work. Here's a look at the model. It's quite detailed and there's supports attached to it. So when this was printed, it would have been printed upside down like that. So you can see the supports that hold the tail up. So you're not printing in space. So it's got something to print onto. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to very carefully remove the supports and then roughen up the surfaces and glue them together with super glue. To remove the supports, I'll have to use a little hobby knife and just cut the supports away. All right, here I go, removing the supports. Ah, hopefully this will go well. Just there. So that one support is off. I still have one that goes down between the legs here from the back. I'm using the magnifying glass so I can come in and see the detail more easily. I can see where I've got to cut away the support. After some patient cutting, I managed to remove all the supports from the bottom half and I even managed to keep the tail intact, which was really good. I'm going to work on the upper half now, removing all the supports that hold the hair in place. That should be quite challenging to get it all off too. I've got all the parts separated from the supports, so you can see them here. I, uh, I lost one hair braid and maybe one over this side too. They're very, very fine, but it turned out really good. I'm, uh, I, I was happy. So now I've got to sand all the, the surfaces so I can glue it together. So I'll do that. Just give it a life sanding to rough it up. Okay, I can glue the upper part to the bottom part now. Hopefully that'll go well and I can get it aligned. All right, here I go. The nozzle on my super glue is kind of clogged up, so I'm gonna have to do it with the X-Acto knife here. So I'll spread, spread a thin layer on the bottom here. Like that. And then a thin layer to the top surface. All right, here I go. I'll just remove some of the excess glue here. I've got to glue this little hand on. It's going to be very difficult to do. I've got Natiri all assembled here, looking really good. Meow. Yeah. Now, there is that tip for the uh, the end of the hair braid there. I don't know if I'll be able to glue that on, but I'll try. That's the last remaining piece. It's a little tiny, tiny thing. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Really accurate model. And this model, don't forget, is it's really small. Very, very small. The next step for the project will be to begin the painting of Neteri here. So I do have, do you remember that uh, Land Rover I painted long ago? It was this color. That's pretty close color for the Avatar uh, skin color. So that'll be the paint I use. I've got black for the hair and I've got a few other darker shades just in case I want to do a bit of shading on it. All right, here I go with the painting and I'm not sure I may have to thin the paint down, but I'm going to try it full strength first because I need it thin enough that it doesn't hide any details but I need it thick enough to kind of cover up the 3D printing lines. So I'll start on the, the leg here. So here I go. That seems to paint on really nicely. I was checking the reference photos. I think my blue color here is maybe a little on the green side, but it's not too far off. It's pretty close, so 
maybe I can do a find some blue mix in a bit and kind of do a bit of shading with the darker blue but yeah looking good I think I did find a can of royal blue so I can mix that with my other color and kind of give a wash to bring out all the features and maybe a little shading on the figure and uh, they have stripes on them in the movie so I may be able to bring that out a bit it'll be it'll be tough on that size but I'll see what I can do it's a really nice sunny day here today while I'm waiting for the paint to dry on Natiri, I'll get out my avatar ficus and we can give it a pruning I've got my ficus out this is one of the ficus sisters the plain one and I started kind of designing it as a flat top for an avatar kind of planting and I see there's a bug on my tree a rather large one <laughs> I better put that outside here's a look at that insect some kind of a big beetle or something see it right there yeah I'll put that outside the new shoots on my ficus have grown in really nicely and they're long enough that they can be pruned back to the first you know couple of leaves so I'll do that making it more compact that insect may have been what's called an assassin bug and they crawl around and find other insects and then they they eat them so maybe it was beneficial I didn't kill it I put it in the front porch actually by the window so I thought if I put it outside it would be below freezing and probably kill the poor thing so I'm going to begin pruning now and I've already kind of styled this tree I'm trying to make it that flat top home tree style from the movie Avatar I don't know how well it'll work, but uh, we'll try it out. So here I go. I'm going to prune this branch back to here. This one back to here. And there's a spider in here. Oh, I see him there or her. Made quite a web. She can definitely stay on the tree. This one to there. This one to here. one here that the tree's looking a little more compact but the structure isn't that good it's kind of sprawling all over the place so i will have a look at it so this is the front this side here that you're seeing there's a look at the front view now somewhere in this direction Rotate it around. There's the back, which is nice. It's got nice roots at the back. This is sort of the fancy side of my plane tree. And this is definitely a planer side. Well, we'll see how the tree reacts to this. I'll just take the tip off here. We'll see how it reacts. I'll let it grow. And that's all we can do. All I can do for now yeah I'll give it a good watering fertilizer before I put it back on the bench there's a new shoot growing out there all right here I go with the water and fertilizer this tree will need repotting again this summer you can see how high it is out of the pot here it's probably full of roots I'll let that soak in for a bit and then give it another soaking all right here goes more water all right that is good it's coming out the drainage holes I can put it back on the bench this tree may not be the tree that I put my Natiri avatar figure under it all depends how it develops in the future if I can develop that nice flat top canopy I may put it under my first ficus it looks more like the home tree at the moment so yeah we'll see how this tree develops um i'm hoping it does well this summer and kind of starts building that flat top canopy 
it'll be interesting. It won't be totally flat. It'll have a slight round to it, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it does. The skin color is dry now, so I'm going to start painting some of the details on, the black hair, maybe some of the clothing details. Well, I did find a can of black paint, flat black. I'll open it up and see what this one looks like inside. It should be okay. It's liquid when I shake it. I gave it a good shaking. Stir it up. Oh, that looks fine. Yep. Okay, here I go with the black details on the hair. Yeah, this goes on really nicely. Here's a look at Natiri now. The black hair and the black braid down the back. And you can see I gotta touch it up a bit. But it's not too bad. There's a lot of little details here that need painting. I'll have to check the colors of those. The tail is supposed to be the skin color. The necklace on the Tiri over here is made of feathers and they're kind of a tan color, kind of white to tan. So I've got some tan paint. I'll see what I can do to see if I can paint that up. All right, here we go. I'm going to try painting this. I'll have to use a magnifying glass, which means I have to do it right here. Tricky work this. Just gotta relax when you do it. I was holding my breath again. <sighs> gotta breathe. Here we go. That's so precise. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that's got it. I don't know if that's in focus, but yeah, that looks like a necklace to me. So there's a thing out front. I don't know if that's what they drink from. I think it is like a little flask or something. I think I'll do that in a different color just to make it you know, a bit of variation. Yeah. And there's a bunch of like armbands and stuff and one around the ankle, one around the upper calf there. There was a piece here that was like a loincloth and I thought it was a support, so I removed it. Oh well, doesn't matter. And there's a necklace around her neck that I noticed has green jewels on it. I was checking the reference pictures. And the ears have to be pink inside. A lot of details to go on this. All right, I've got a different color now. It's a darker brown that I'm going to do that, whatever that thing is, flask or something. Could be a horn too, maybe to signal people. For communication, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's getting painted a darker, kind of a reddish brown color. Okay. That looks pretty good. See that? It's on there. All right, I've got a nice tan color here to put on the, for the straps. All right, so here I go. This will be very, very tricky. Okay, I think that's good for the uh, armbands and that. Here's a look at the figure now. Coming along. I think I'm going to try putting the blue on now. So I'll use the base blue color and I'll just add a bit of the darker blue in with it, the royal blue and try it putting the stripes on, see how it looks. There's a look at my royal blue color. So I've got a palette here. I'll just put a dab of it on there and then I'll mix in my, my other color. The blue, the lighter blue. I'll try and get a nice kind of blend between them. That should be enough. Now I've got my other blue color. I'll just put the lid back on for now. I need to put some of this blue color in. 
like that. And then I should, should be able to mix them together and kind of get a darker shade for the stripes. Okay, here I go. Again, I'll use the magnifying glass. Okay, let's... Let's hope this turns out okay. Yeah, I'm, the stripes are going on quite nicely. I'm I'm using a fairly dilute mixture of paint. I don't want the stripes to be too visible. They've sort of just got to blend in a bit, so it doesn't uh, subtle is the word I'm looking for. I want them to be subtle. The other trick is to get these stripes kind of uh, uneven. You don't want them looking like, you know, too uniform. Kind of got to look like a zebra pattern. Yeah, looking good. This is the back. Still have to paint the tail. I'm going to mix up a bit of a pink color for the ears and the mouth and the nose. Very subtle, so I'll do that next. All right, I've got a bit of red mixed up. I'm going to blend that in with a bit of blue. And hopefully I get some kind of a, a very subtle color effect. I'm going to try painting the eyes now. I have this signal orangey yellow color. In the movie, the eyes are kind of yellow. So I think this is be, it'll be close. That's the closest paint I have. So I'm going to try putting a drop on the end of this pointy dividers and just touch it to the eye. And I hope that makes a little round eyeball. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll give it a try. So here I go. I don't know, it doesn't, I think I need a wooden toothpick or something. It just doesn't seem to wanna go in the eye at all. No, okay, I'm gonna try something else. That just doesn't work. Okay, that'll have to do. It turned out okay, I think. There's a look at the eyes. I don't know if you can see it in this light. Let me try it in the sun here. Yeah, something there. At least a bit of a yellowish color. So I can go in and fix everything up eventually. Here's a look at Natiri now. So I've got a lot of the stuff in place. I've just got to do a bit of touching up and finish the blue on the tail. Yeah, just little detail work but I think basically it's looking pretty good there's my hand for comparison you can see how small the model is the size of my thumb while the Sun is still out I thought I better get a shot in the Terry at the base of my ficus here let's go and have a look
I'm going to let the paint dry overnight and then I'll come back tomorrow and do any final touch-ups. But that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.